The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Visit yellowjacket.com to find out why Yellow Jacket is the industry standard in refrigerant hoses, tools, manifolds, and vacuum pumps, and many other tools. All right, we got another one now. With no compressor running, fan motor runs. I already checked the air handler because obviously if you don't show it on video, then you're not doing it according to some people. That's the first thing I usually do. I go inside. Make sure everything's good. So the air handler has been checked, ladies and gentlemen. Got us a Chinese capacitor here. Let's see what we get in between Common and Herm. We are looking see down there we're looking for our, oh, let's see if I can get it on camera there looking for 40 we are on common and herm we have nothing let's check the fan was running but let's just check common and fan wow I can't believe the fan was running so we're gonna change this one out since we already looked at the air handler and everything's good We'll change this capacitor. And they'll have cooling. All right, I had to dig around on the truck to find a 40 that wasn't so big around so it would fit in this bracket. I could have made my own bracket, but it's nice when you have the right one. All the 40s I have are so big around, I need to try to find some more of these. Common to Herm, 40. Common to Fan. Fit. Right in our bracket. There we go. All right, I'll mount the bracket in place. All right, I got the capacitor all wired in. Two yellows are your common. Blue is your herm. Brown is fan. I'm gonna put, twist that back on. I, I took it off because when you're running your nut driver through here, it can be very easy for your nut driver to touch uh, this right here, which would uh, short out the uh, fuse inside. And if you don't have a fuse, it short the transformer out. So I simply remove this, killing 24 to the contactor. And now I'm gonna put it back on. And you'll, you won't be able to see it the way I got the camera sitting, but you'll be able to, you should be able to hear the contactor pull in as soon as these two wires touch. Yeah, see, y'all should be able to hear that. There we go. We'll start it up now. Fans not spinning backwards, people. The coil's a little dirty right here. The rest of it's not too bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it with some water. Yeah. 
make sure we document this on camera so somebody won't say, oh, you didn't watch the soil. Don't just change the capacitor. gentlemen coils clean all right guys we're pulling away from this job and I just wanted to you know I was making some uh, derogatory comments I guess in that video you kept hearing me talk about checking the air handler and stuff and making sure I documented that I washed the condenser coil on camera and the reason I'm doing that is cuz and look guys I don't want no trouble with nobody I, you know I, I'm really trying to get along with everybody, and that's the honest to God truth. But I saw a video on YouTube the other day that was titled, Don't Just Change the Run Capacitor. Basically, I know the guy. He doesn't like me. Uh, even though I'm trying to get along with everybody, he just doesn't like me, and I'm fine with that. He made this video, you know, and he showed where, you know, they had a bad dual capacitor outside. But he went and checked the air handler as well, and he found a, you know, he found some an issue there with some wires. And you know, he's absolutely right. You you want to go and do that. I can't say for sure if the video was pointed out to me, but in a way, I kind of think it was, because he kept making the hint or the point that there's a lot of videos on the internet of people just changing capacitors and running. And I've been uploading a lot of capacitor videos lately because that's what I've been running into. But you know, guys, the first thing I always do when I go to a job, I always go to the uh, to the indoor equipment first. I go to the furnace or the air handler. First thing I do. You know, but just because I don't show it on camera, if the video was hinted towards me, I guess she's trying to say that I don't check the indoor equipment. I just run outside, change a capacitor, and I haul ass. And that's not true. First thing I do is I grab my flashlight and I go inside and I check the indoor equipment. It's the first thing I always do. It's funny that all these capacitors that I change out, I never go back. I just, you know. Just because I don't show something on camera doesn't mean I don't do it. There's just some things I can't put on camera. He knows that, everybody knows that. So, you take, for example, this call before I even went to the condenser, I couldn't film inside the house because there was people in there. These air handlers are located in an upflow position in a closet. First thing I did was go inside, made sure the blower was running. I took the cover off, you know, just to make sure everything was okay. And 
I climbed under the return, like I always do, and looked up at the evaporator call to make sure it wasn't dirty, and it wasn't. Because these particular duplexes that we take care of, a lot of the coils are dirty. So I went inside, made sure the blower was running okay, made sure everything in there was working, climbed under the return, looked up at the coil, made sure it wasn't dirty, then went outside. So just because it's not on camera, guys, don't assume that something's not being done. You can't put everything on camera. And like I said, I'm not trying to start trouble. You know, it, it, it's just, I just wanted to make that point. Just because it's not on camera, don't assume that somebody's not doing something. Hell, I wish I could get everything on camera, but it's just not possible. All right, guys, until the next one, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time.